Welcome to Hoosier Hairs and Homestead. I'm Mark and I've got some work to do on this tractor. Um, today is Saturday the 10th and we have got a winter storm warning out. Uh, it's pretty cold out right now. It's in the mid 20s I think. Uh, we are expecting up to 10 inches of snow. These were uh, two rabbits that I thought were going to be um, gone by now. I thought maybe I, I would have them either processed or sold. Uh, they're two bucks. I'd like to sell them. I really don't want to process them, but um, I may may do that. But uh, I am just preparing for um, some of the winter weather that we're going to have, and uh, I've got to enclose this uh, in some way. Not so much worried about them getting cold as I, as I am all that snow. Um, and so what I've decided to do, I'll take you over here, is use some of my empty feed bags and a staple gun and um, just go along one side and make it uh, a break from the wind. Uh, they've got this uh, here that they can get into. Um, that's got some fresh pine shavings in it. And uh, I'm just going to just quickly staple that on this side um, just to kind of keep them from out of the weather and that snow blowing through there. Um, not much else that I'm going to do. I may do the other side and I may even do this up on top. I've, got, I've kept all my feed bags. I figured I'd use them for something. And uh, that may just help the snow slide off a little bit easier. But I'll show you a, a picture here when I'm done. Thanks. All right, you kind of get the idea here. Putting the bag on here, stapling it at the top, stapling it at the bottom. Not really sure how long this will last. Just want to keep the snow from blowing through. Well, there you have it. It's uh, all the farther that I'm going to take it, just on one side here, all the way down. Six bags, one on its side here. Um, went through and stapled it really well. Just quarter inch staples, those T50 staples, and uh, that way I've got a, a good windbreak for them. It's out far enough from the, the wire, they're not going to be, uh, either. they're not going to be chewing into it. This one they may, um, but they may just let it go here after a little bit. This is going to be the start of keeping my waters unfroze or thawed out, I guess would be the proper term. Um, wasn't planning on having any out here on the tractor. But that's how it goes. These guys are, are good looking rabbits and I just don't want to process them. So there's that project. Um, got the windbreak done on the tractor. Step back here. 
and you can see that I've got all of them hanging the exact same way because I'm just crazy like that so we've got these guys bedded down uh, used up some of my grass hay beneath this grass hay I got oh, about four inches of pine shavings hey get back in there so these guys aren't underneath the heat lamps and where they're getting real cold they'll be able to stay nice and dry and and warm right here and they, they'll probably be eating on that grass hay they usually do I usually feed it to them supplement but anyways looks like they're going to enjoy that for a while while it snows well there you have it uh got the tractor done um got the box for them all cleaned out and bedded down with some clean bedding and uh, tonight about eight o'clock in a couple hours here we're supposed to start getting the snow it's going to snow heavy through uh, early tomorrow morning they're calling for six to ten inches of snow and um, I imagine when I wake up here tomorrow and come out here it's all going to be looking a lot different so take a little quick look around here because next time you see this it is all gonna be under the white stuff I hope whatever you're working on is going well and uh, just a little update on on the rabbitry uh, got any ideas tips comments advice suggestions or otherwise please leave a comment below thank you for watching Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for sharing the video. If you like, give it a big thumbs up. God bless. Well, this is not the end of the video, obviously. Um, we have gotten probably, I'm gonna say four or five inches of snow. Uh, you can see how it's piled up behind me there. And uh, I don't know, working on the drive. It's about, Sorry about that train. It's about uh, seven o'clock Sunday morning and uh, just getting a start on it because it's supposed to start snowing again. So we are getting some snow.